Hi, I'm Mary. Welcome to uh, yesterday's Treasures Productions interview I'm with uh, I'm and I'm 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 the second Ron Moss player. Hey, go ahead. Uh, Thank you. Hi, I'm Just Mary. a few questions, like who were some of your early influences in music? I'm Ben. For me, it was definitely the, the Beatles. The Beatles and Beatles, the Stones. Pete, then you went to the Kinks. Cavern Club as a Yeah, I'm from Liverpool, and I used to, I saw the Beatles play actually three times. I was a little young to get in, and my brother used to sneak me in. And I actually saw them perform, and that was it for me. I said, this is what I want to do, you know, I was only like 15 or something. You didn't, you didn't save your ticket stuff. No, no <laughs> we didn't have a ticket stuff. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> how did you come up with the name? Hi, I'm Mary. We were sitting around together at uh, our producer's house and uh, coming up with ideas. And one of the ideas was, at the end of a movie, you know, well, castle. Before that, before that, it was... Uh, the players and then we were sitting watching a movie and instead of saying you know cast it said the players and we thought let's go with the players and i think he said how about, how about just player, player to take the s off you know makes it more how many years has it been in the business for the group since 1977. For this well, group, I mean, together. Both of you guys. Oh, we're, we've been in since we were kids. We've had different groups separately. He is in England, ours in mine in L.A. Go no, back to uh, 30, over 30 years. Ago. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Oh, well over. But we're still very young. Yes. yes. Uh, whenever, the, whenever I read anything about player, I always hear, like, who I saw, strong R&B influence. Well, we were, we were much more that in the beginning. Um, it's just the way it came out. The first album had a lot of different kinds of songs. It was very eclectic. And, of course, the one song that was the most blue-eyed soul-ish was Baby Come Back. So once you get a number one record in a certain style, that's where people, you know. But we were actually very much a rock and roll band. You know? right. You saw us live. We did our R&B stuff. But we were rock and roll yeah. very much for three quarters of the show. Wasn't there like a country LP yeah, release? Yeah, yeah. That was a solo thing I was doing, but it's, was it? yeah, it's not for this <laughs> The yacht tour that you guys have been on, wasn't there like two versions of this? The yacht rock and then the yacht. Yeah, well, everybody's doing it now, it seems. You know, we've, we've managed to be on most of them. How many years have you been um, on this journey? How many times have you come back to this I started, these, these guys that we're with tonight, the, the Yacht Rock Review, they're out of Atlanta, and they've been going, as far as I know, probably longer than the first time I was with them, but about five years ago. They called me and they said, come down, and they do this thing in Piedmont Park every year. It's a huge huge outdoor festival thing and uh, I, I, I went down and it, I didn't realize how big it was going to be and it was amazing and um, then I did it a couple of times and then Ron came down with me the third year and we were both blown away and we were, had a manager at the time and uh, took it back to him and said we got to get these guys and take this on a tour with you know guest artists as Robbie you know, whoever uh, you changed through the years has been John Ford Cole has been different. Yes, it has changed a lot. Yeah. John Ford was in there when I first started doing it, and um, and it's kind of you know changed as it's gone on. And then there was another version because they couldn't get it set up with the Yacht Rock guys, so it was Orleans backing everybody, and it was Christopher Cross, Firefall, Firefall. <coughs> Does it change? Well, like next year, will it be different than this? Who year? knows? <laughs> there's, a, there's a pool of artists, right. and we kind of pick, choose who's available at a certain time, so that's how it works. But you guys are pretty steady. Right? Well, we, we can fit into any of the, there's, there's, a, there's several different sources for this now. Anybody can do it, you know. Right. So there's a bunch of uh, promoters doing it, and um, we've managed to get on three already, and next year it might be somebody else, or we might stay with these guys. Next so you go year. like on, like, you say different, like separate from them and do something on the side as player like at a concert at a different event. Oh yeah, we do things we have done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're not stuck in the uh, yacht right. rock thing. <clears throat> right. And what does uh, the future look like for you guys? Got any, any CD or anything coming out? Yeah, well, 
were fiddling about with it. We had a CD just came out about three years ago, mm -hmm. two two and a half years ago, and uh, we uh, we uh, went to we went to Italy to promote it because we were with an Italian label, and uh, we toured a little bit on it. Um, too many you know, reasons. Too many reasons, yeah. And we will, you know, we'll put together a new one in the near future. It's a little slow, actually. Great, guys. Have a great show tonight. Thank Thanks you very for much. Second it's good to see you.